Welcome back everybody to the channel. It's me, Alejandro Mendoza, or the Nerd Chicano. Either way, how you say it, it's all good here. And we're back again for another video as we look at another film in my collection. And today we're going to look at one of the greatest anti-war films ever made. Larisa Shepitko's The Ascent on Blu-ray from the Criterion Collection. I hope that this video finds everybody happy, healthy, and watching some great movies. And today we're going to be talking about a great movie. Larissa Shapitko's The Ascent is a movie that I've had in my collection for a minute now. It's not the first time I've seen this film, but it is the first time I've actually seen the disc because the first time I watched this film was on the Criterion channel. But of course, if you enjoy videos about physical media and films and all that wonderful stuff, then this is the channel for you. Then go ahead and click on the subscribe button, click the notification bell so you don't miss a single piece of content that drops on the channel and leave a like on the video as well as it helps me out a ton here and if you want an extra helping hand you can go over to patreon.com slash the nerdy chicano to pledge to one of our tiers and you can get early access to videos just like the one you're watching right now along with some other goodies like video essays and other stuff that i'm along with other goodies like video essays but of course, it is not mandatory, but it is appreciated. Either way, I'm happy that you all are watching these videos. But enough of that. Let's go ahead and talk about this film right here. Now, as always, I'm going to go ahead and read from the back here, and then we'll go ahead and continue on with the review. The Ascent, the crowning triumph of a career cut tragically short. The final film from Larissa Shepitsko won the Golden Bear at the 1977 Berlin Film Festival and went on to be hailed as one of the finest works of late Soviet cinema. In the darkest days of World War II, two partisans set out for supplies to sustain their beleaguered outfit, braving the blizzard-swept landscape of Nazi-occupied Belarusia when they fall into the hands of German forces and come face to face with death, each must choose between martyrdom and betrayal in a spiritual ordeal that lifts the film's earthy drama to the plane of religious allegory with stark visceral cinematography that, that pits blinding white snow against pitch black despair, the ascent finds poetry and transcendence in the harrowing trials of war. And of course, this comes in at spine number 1063 in the Criterion Collection and included in this special edition feature is new 4k digital restoration with uncompressed monorail soundtrack a new selected scene commentary featuring film scholar daniel bird new introduction by ella anton klimov son of director larissa shapitsko and filmmaker elam klimov now a new interview with actor Lyudmila polivoika oh my god i said that completely wrong i'm so sorry the homeland of electricity a 1967 short film by larissa shapitsko Larissa, a 1980 short film tribute to Shapitko made after her death by her husband, Elam Klimov. Two documentaries uh, from 2012 about Shapitko. Program from 1999 featuring an interview with Shapitko, a new English subtitle translation, plus an essay by film by po po poet Fanny Howe. And of course, this is the front of the packaging. This is the back. This is the spine. And then you just open it up and you have your booklet. This is the back of the booklet. And it's one of those pamphlets that just go ahead and open up. And you have all of that wonderful stuff right there. And then you have the, the, the essay by the poet in here. And then, of course, you have transfer notes. You have production credits and all that wonderful stuff right here in this booklet. Then you have the Blu-ray disc right here. And then you just open it up and you have the background. But that's kind of it. That's the packaging for The Ascent on Blu-ray from the Criterion Collection. When I watched The Ascent for the first time on the Criterion channel, I was really blown away by the portrayal of war. And honestly, the battle between our soldiers in this film and whether they choose martyrdom, of course, or betrayal, and really their internal fight against their duty to their country. And I found that to be such an interesting aspect to Larissa Shapitsko's film. And this time around, I can say confidently that this film is even better the second time. I think it's expertly crafted by Shapitsko and her team. They provide a beautiful landscape 
which is also harrowing in a way as you really do dissect the atmosphere and the locations that these soldiers were fighting in and it really becomes very real to you about what this war looked like through the lens of Larissa Shapitsko's film. I think it's a film that's so strong and it's very beautifully articulate script that details an internal fight between all of these soldiers and it is paced so methodically and so patiently that Larissa Shapitsko has these moments where you can really dissect the internal fight between these soldiers and really what's going on and you have the chance to really consume the thematic richness of The Ascent. It's a film that does take a little bit of a slow approach to its narrative. It does come in at about 109 minutes, so it is an hour and 49 minutes, but it uses those one, one hour and 49 minutes to its utmost use as it really does allow the viewer to stick with these characters and to follow the journey well enough to understand the message that Larissa Shapitsko is trying to convey. When you watch this, you really, you really do think about the career that Larissa Shapitsko had and could have continued to have as her life was sadly cut short by a tragic uh, car accident. And she was a very prominent role in Soviet cinema but she was also specifically a beautiful voice in detailing these things that are just done in a very artistic way, but also in a very patient way that, you know, Soviet cinema is very known for its slow pace and its very patient approach. But within The Ascent, it takes an approach that I've never seen in any other Soviet film. And that's coming from somebody who watched War and Peace to its full extent. But this does it in a way where that patience is rewarded through the thematic expression of each and every one of these soldiers as they fight with this idea of like duty to our country or duty to ourselves. And it is such an interesting uh, part of World War II that just never gets discussed here in the United States. So when you see it through the eyes of somebody who lived in, Soviet, in the Soviet Union, it does provide an interesting background on the Eastern Front of the world, the Second World War. Now, let's talk about this restoration. So I watched this film on my 4K player, on my 4K TV, and it does upscale it a bit. So I'm gonna get around 2K of a presentation. I know that on my thing it says 4K, but it's not entirely 4K because it's not a native 4K disc, but it does go around like a bit of 2K. And I have to say, because I don't have a drastic difference in uh, quality between the streaming and the disc, even though there is a clear difference and it is mostly in the resolution and with the, the way that the audio plays out of my TV speakers compared to my, you know, iPad or my computer speakers. If I remember correctly, I watched this on my MacBook, so it was on my very messed up computer speakers. But I have to say that this 4K restoration looks awesome. I love the way that it registers on my TV. You can 100% tell where the grain is, and I'm glad that they left a good portion of that grain because it does bring out this atmosphere of this like boots on the ground film about these soldiers who are trying to brave this blizzard and then of course brave their imprisonment. I think that the film is done expertly well when it comes to that restoration. They were able to heighten that resolution and get a really good look out of it, but also stick to what makes it unique with that grain and the atmosphere that is created with its cinematography in the white snow. You can tell that there isn't any scratches, there isn't any damage to the print. They cleaned it up really well and they were able to provide us a really good video restoration and this is honestly one of my favorite black and white restorations. I think that what they did with this looks great. And it's one of the films that I wouldn't mind seeing in 4K. I think that the black and white coming out of this would look really good on 4K. So I think that this is one that I'm going to vouch for when it comes to upgrading Blu-ray to 4K. Now the audio is just as good. You don't hear any hissing, no scratches, no you know, nothing that's unbalanced. It all sounds really good with the score and the sound effects. Everything sounds leveled and it sounds like they actually went in there to clean that up. Now, it, compared to where I watched it on streaming to, through those computer speakers, it sounds way better than that. But of course, like I said, I don't have a 
speaker system. So what I'm hearing is the uncompressed monorail soundtrack out of my TV speakers. And from what I can tell, it sounds good. It doesn't sound bad. It sounds balanced. It sounds like there's no damages to the magnetic track. So that is a win for me. This film is packed with special features. I actually have watched a bit of these. And when I say a bit of these, I mean like maybe one or two where I didn't even completely finish them. I couldn't finish Klimov's uh, tribute to Shapitsko. It was it was really it was really heartfelt, and I wasn't completely there when I watched it, so I felt that I needed to stop it so I could watch it at home, and I wanted to actually consume it the way that Klimov wanted it to be consumed, with all the attention placed on it instead of you know, somewhere I shouldn't be watching it where I was doing it distracted by other things. So I, I, I watched a little bit of that and I liked what I watched. And then uh, Homeland of Electricity, I watched a little bit as well. Uh, I enjoyed that, but I didn't get to finish it completely. Either way, it's a lot of special features. So this coming in at a sale price of 20 bucks is 100% worth it. It's a really good film with a really good video restoration, with a really good audio restoration and a lot of special features. So if you're interested in Soviet cinema or you're interested in owning maybe a film from a Ukrainian filmmaker because she is Ukrainian, then you should pick up Larisa Shapitko's The Ascent because this is a beautiful restoration and a beautiful release from the Criterion Collection. You can keep up to date with me on all things social media by following me at The Nerdy Chicano on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Letterboxd, Serialize, and on Twitch. Follow me on all of those. I am the same handle on all of those. So let's go ahead and talk because I want to talk about movies with y'all. Of course, you can also keep up to date with all the things that we're doing on The Nerdcore by following The Nerdcore at TheNerdcore.com. Twitch and YouTube is under the same handle, The Nerdcore. Check us out over there. We're doing a lot of cool stuff with our podcast. Talk to me in the comments, y'all. Have y'all watched The Ascent from Larissa Shapitko? Do you own this Blu-ray from the Criterion Collection? Let's talk in the comments and let's go ahead and discuss what you think about this film but go ahead and put that in the comments below so we can talk with each other. And I'll go ahead and see you all on the next video, but in the meantime, to my wonderful cinephiles and renowned scholars, celebrate the love of cinema today, tomorrow, and every day after. Catch you all in the next one, guys. Bye-bye.